I'd like to show you rigging a slimy mackerel with a non-return that is not weighted. Basically, the one that I'm going to be doing, we use a lot in the transcar for catching kuta, hammers, grey sharks, grey mer sharks. Very simple. One big mackerel, a lot of uh, glitter on it which works very well in clean water conditions. Two heavy duty hoodlum hooks. The wire that's used is 200 pound and it's as simple as this. What we do is we first measure off where we want the baits to go. So the first hook, which is the lead hook, is gonna go in the bait over there. The second hook needs to come into the nose area, that area there. The further forward you can get your um, if I can call it the front hook, the more the bait will swim properly. If I put it further back, the more the, the bait is gonna to tend to twirl in the water. Because it picks up a lot of resistance. So if you can keep it as close to the front as possible, the better it actually is. Measure distance. You can see where I want that hook to go. And go in quite deep. Guys, don't be scared. Push it down, but not all the way down. Take the lead hook, stick it in through the nose, pull it out, like that. Now what you can do is you can slide the actual hook into the bait properly. And from there, we take a cable tie. Take it behind the actual nose just to keep the wire together. That's all we do. That just keeps the wire, if you can have a look over here, next to the body, running between the gills. There's the gill slit, and underneath the gill slit. We then slide our glitter, or cooter skirt, down it to hide the actual hook. Last but not least, we take the tail of our mackerel and cut that down. What that does is stops the bait from twisting in the water while you're actually shaking. The whole trace basically at the end of the day looks like that. Let's see from that side. guys the hooks are nice and proud the skirt is protecting the head and giving a lot of glitter and shine and pulsating while you're actually shaking and there we go simple as that